Okay, let's see. Just trying out a few things here. Let's see if we can. Kind of like my backdrop. Okay, let's see. Let's try our switcher here. That's good. There. That's looking good. Let's fool me. And we have bug zap. And we have our <laughs> thumbnail. Love the thumbnail. Thumbnail's great. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I don't know how I have a like already when I don't have a viewer, so that's interesting. If somebody's out there on chat, let me know. I am um, playing a little bit with the Final Grom 99. I've just been trying to figure out how to use it, but along the way I've been working on my setup because I want to do some more live streaming through the holidays, I think. And uh, I am getting everything set up. So I have these different views. I have the view of my dashboard for... Uh, YouTube live streaming. I have my final Grom, which should, uh, as you can see here, has my keyboard here, down here. It has uh, up above there, it has my headshot. That's my headshot. And then uh, up there, we have the actual uh, final Grom screen or the TI-99 screen. So I can move through, let me go back to A. There we go. And I can move through these different menus. So I can go to D, for instance, look at some homebrew games, and I can play those games. I can uh, move through, for some reason, oh, that's the last screen, probably, titanium. Let me go ahead and go back. Let me hit A. And let's do something with a, something that's got a few more screens on it. So definitely games will have a lot more. Go ahead and do that. Hey, how are you doing, Mark? Good to see you. Uh, I am just playing around with the Final Grom 99. I want to do more live streaming. I was actually thinking about at some point, Mark, doing a, see that D there where it says homebrew? Maybe just doing a live stream of uh, some homebrew games on the TI to kind of update some folks. But I'm really liking the Final Grom. It seems to work pretty well. It is right here. I have it in the handy dandy tan color from uh, the Brewing Academy. So it's looking pretty good right here like that. Uh, here's the, let's see, I think I have, yeah, I do. I have the flash ROM here. Here's the original flash ROM. Let's see if I can change screens there. There we go. So that was the flash ROM. You can see it in comparison to the final Grom. It's a lot thinner or not as deep, I guess I should say, and more consistent with the size of a solid state cartridge, which I think is kind of nice. So that looks pretty good. Uh, it, it appears to work very similarly to the uh, flash ROM. Uh, you do get an extra reset switch here, which is uh, useful. That is for sure. So I can go back here and uh, I do have a, a joystick port or joystick plugged in over here. But I like this, I like that you can see the keyboard and everything as I'm kind of live streaming. So you get to see the keystrokes and everything I'm doing. I also have, you can't see it's, it is off of this particular screen. And this is the uh, 32K from the, the Brewing Academy. So Mark says, yes, all the one in your previous vids, the uh, final, the final Grom cart looks Good. Yes, it does. I'm actually digging it. So that's what we're looking at here is the final Grom. So I think I have downloaded everything. There was a couple packages. So I am going to be doing a full video, uh, not a live stream, but a full video on this. I've been working on it. I've already done pretty much done with the blog post, the companion blog post, which is actually kind of my script for this. And uh, I'll have the links for everything where you can download all the software. But you can see uh, Extended Basic is available, Extended Basic Plus. Let's just try that so you can see what that looks like. So if I hit I, you can see it. Hopefully, it will load into Extended Basic. I have had a few of these uh, do that right there. I'm going to have to figure out what that is, just that blue screen. But if I hit this reset button right here, press this, you'll see that the default is the last ROM file or GROM file that I selected. Let me try two again on its own and see what happens here. So that one doesn't appear to be working. So what I'm going to do is I am going to reset. I'm going to reset the flat, the final GROM. Uh, we're going to go back in here, press two. There was one that was working earlier. So let me go back to dev and let me pull up. Uh, I think it was H is the one that was working earlier. Hmm. I say it was working. Everything was working earlier, so I'm not sure what's going on. Let me try reset here. Okay, they're not working at all, so something is going on. So what I am going to do is I'm going to power off here. I'm going to power this back on. That reset could be 
doing some weird things to this. I'm going to reset my final Grom 99. I'm going to press this. I'm going to go to, and we're going to try it again. We're going to go back into A, which are our, our dev. And I'm going to head back into, uh, I'm pretty sure it was H. Hmm, interesting. I am going to have to play with that some more. I am not having success with the final Grom 99. Hey, Jamie's Hack Shack, howdy, how are you doing? I uh, just popped on for a few seconds, a few minutes, been more than a few seconds already, trying to get some of these uh, Grom files working on this final Grom 99, but not having much success. Let me go back in and I'm going to try a standard game here, see if that works. Uh, also, Jamie, checking out my new uh, live stream setup here with this little circular view here. Got the little, uh, uh, if I go down here, I've got this view of the computer and then over here, over, over here. Yeah, there we go. I've got the uh, the actual TI-99 itself, or that could be anything. That could be the Mega, that could be uh, Commodore 64, VIC-20, whatever that is. I've just got that set up. So let me go ahead and... Uh, Oh, and I got the, uh, the uh, Jamie, I got the fancy buttons working again, too. So if I do this, I can show you there. I can do this. I can show you full screen down here if we want to see that. I do have the full screen of me. You don't want that for sure. There's my bug zapping screen. And then there's just the thumbnail for the video, which is kind of cool. I'm really, really liking it. I dig it. Bummer, the Grom is giving you trouble. Yeah, it's probably something I'm doing. I did download all of the files for the Grom, uh, Final Grom 99. And um, uh, just a few minutes ago, I had... A, uh, one of the file, one of the ground files was working and now it's not. I tried turning off the computer. Mm, I got a joystick plugged in. I'm not sure it was plugged in before. I'm sh that all that. Okay, let's just do a game so you guys can see how this works. Games were working fine just a few minutes ago, so we'll see how it's going. Got four of you out there. Uh, five concurrent view viewers. We got Mark out there, I think, still. Uh, Jamie from Jamie's Hack Shack is on. If you're out there, drop a, a quick hello or howdy, as uh, Jamie did in the chat. Let me know you're out there. Just kind of curious who's out there. I am going to try, because it was working uh, earlier, uh, Beyond Parsec. It is a two-player, but at least you, kinda, you guys will kind of get an idea for how this works. Okay, so see, that's working. And you should be hearing some sound right now. I did, uh, because it's. Uh, I had some problems with... Um, the sound only coming over the left channel, I did fix that today. So I now have sound coming out of both channels. So it should sound pretty good. And you'll see this is, again, a two-player game that you can, uh, it'd be nice if somebody else was playing, but that's kind of how that works. Uh, and I think if I run into one of these, I die, yeah, like that. You can see that, so that's pretty good. So again, if I want to use this, uh, what I can do now with the uh, final Grom that the Flash Grom didn't have is I have a reset button. I have this handy dandy little reset button. Oops, right here. That's the reset button. So if I hit that, it'll reset the TI right there. So you saw that. And then I hit uh, this button right here. will reload everything because if you don't, it'll use the last Grom in memory as the cartridge. So then we can do this. And uh, let's go ahead and pull up the final Grom. I am going to go back into games. I'm going to drop down. If you see something you want, if you see something you want me to load up, just say, "Hey, I want to check that out before you get offline." I am going to go down to this Chisholm Trail. Demon Attack is pretty good. Uh, the other nice thing is the final Grom will hold more than 171 files, which again, all of this will be in the longer video that I'm producing. Uh, I told Mark earlier, I have most of that uh, companion blog post done. What I'm working on now is the video itself, but I needed to run through the operation of this. So I thought I'd just live stream that's trying to figure out how to use this and see what's working. I am going to, oh, Star Wars, well, let's do that. I think I've played that before online, but let's just see how it's working. So this is this is working pretty well. Oh, by the way, I'm just, I'm just using the old, uh, Hyperkin joystick for that good 80s kind of feel. These little guys are tough to get. Alright, am I holding my mouth right? There we go. Now we're getting there. 
Where are you guys? There we go. I have yet to get to another level of this. It seems like this game is all just this one level. I keep hoping that I, I shoot enough of them, I eventually get to another level, but I've not seen it yet. I'm better at it than I was the last time. Get over there. There we go. Not sure if I got that or not. Oh, just got hit. It is weird that this uh, TI version of Star Wars is just this and not uh, any other level. But it, that's what it appears to be because I've played many a minute or two and this is all I get. There's, so there's a little something different that looked like, uh, oh, they're getting faster. So you don't get a different level, but you are getting, they are a little, just a little bit faster. Oh, we got seven folks in. Hey, if you're joining me, I'm, I'm just trying out the final Grom 99 and taking a little detour with the uh, Star Wars game from the TI-99 4A. Um, if you're in, drop a, drop your name in, oh, I think I'm out, out of shields. Drop your name in the chat room. Let me know that you stopped in for a quick visit. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset this. So I'm gonna hit reset. I'm gonna reset my final Grom. And we're gonna go in, go back in here. And I'm going to try, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get just one uh, PB fourth and 80 column. I don't think I want that. Uh, I do want to try one of these and see load and run basic. What is that? Let's try that Q. See what that is. So I am having problems with these cartridges or these Groms. I think that require 32 K. So I'm wondering if I've got some kind of issue with my 32 K module. So I'm going to turn this off and just check all my, connections on that thing. So here's that 32K module here that I got from the Brewing Academy. Uh, you can see it has a power source here and you just plug it into the side where the uh, the PES or the per peripheral expansion system would go. So I'm going to plug that back in. Let's just make sure everything's seated properly. I'll knock everything off here. And then I also want to try it without the um, joystick plugged in because that was something else that was different all right so we'll plug that in all right so now the 32k is plugged in let's go ahead and go back here and I've unplugged the joystick too I can't imagine well you never know with these old bit plus I'm using this uh, this joystick adapter that converts the two or the one plug uh, into the two that you would need. Uh, so that could be causing problems. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one too. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's go ahead and reset our final Grom 99. Let's go back in here. Let's go back to number two. And I'm going to try one of those uh, extended basic cartridges again with some changes. H. Oh, man, I was hoping that was going to be it. How can I test? I'd like to test if this 32K is working. I think it is, but I don't know how to, uh, I don't know if I can do a search for finding out how much memory, if there's a command in just regular basic. Uh, I don't know if there is, let's see. Let's go ahead and reset here. Let's go back in here. Let's go to TI basic. And then I'm gonna see if there is, over here, I'm doing a search for uh, available, maybe, available memory TI-994A basic command. Again, new to all this, so I have no earthly idea. Um, do, 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 do. How do I check the size of memory in TI basic? That might work. Uh, there's nothing in the manuals. Extended basic has size, but there's no corresponding command. Uh, somebody says this will report memory full in one 
after a bit when that happens. Per memory saving for Oh, okay. Well, we can give that a shot, I guess. Let's let's see let's see if that works. That's different. So, one. Oh, this is that weird thing. Well, I can use 11. Let me move my microphone up here out of the way. And it says mem equals mem. And here's the weird thing. The plus is, is weird. Where's the plus? Oh, there it is right there. Uh, oops, that's not it. So I have to go back. Still getting used to this too. Uh, plus eight. And it says, uh, so we'll do 22 just to keep it. Go sub one. And we'd hit run. Bad line in 22, what I do? Uh, oh yeah, it's not one, of course. It's uh, 22, go sub. Yeah, keyboard. Go sub 11, Steven, since you changed it. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, uh, it will report memory full in one after a bit. Okay, so we're supposed to wait for it to keep running. Okay, there we go. Memory full. And then when your program gets to this section, it'll run out of, okay, and print mem in the variable. So let's see what we have. Print mem. Oh, so 12440. I should have more than that. I think that could be my problem. Um, I am supposed to have, my 32 isn't working. I'm wondering if the TI-94-4 has a, had 128 gigabytes of RAM rather than 32. Would it have been better than the Commodore? I am assuming you mean megabytes or kilobytes instead of gigabytes there, David. Uh, that would be a lot of memory on a TI for sure, right? Uh, so it looks like I am having problems with my 32 because according to this, uh, I should be reporting more than the 16s because this is what this is giving me is around the 16 what six yeah i think that's right there's like 256 built in that it can access so i don't think i'm getting the right i don't think my 32 meg adapter is working so let me go ahead and reset here um, but it's it's it is very peculiar because it was working before so I'm going to uh, feel free to hang out in the chat room and chat. I'm just going to kind of work on this again. I'm just live streaming for funsies, as we say, trying to see if I can get this working. Uh, but I think everything's fine here. I think it has something to do with my 32K expansion. Uh, so let me let me play around with that for a bit. Hang on just a second. I have a little screen for you here. Right there. Bug zapping. All right. Hang on. Still can't hear myself, but I'm still broadcasting. I can see voice is low. Thank you, Roberto. Um, quieter than before. So something has happened. Yeah. What have I done? Did I hit? Oh, I think I fit. I think I figured it out, folks. I hit my gain, or I hit my. Uh, yeah, I fit, figured it out. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You should be able to hear me now, perfectly. And okay, so let me. Oh wait, there. That's different. Hold on a second. I just got a light on my 32K memory expansion. Let me turn it on. And then the light's going off when I turn it on. That is interesting. Okay, let me try something here. So this is definitely not the final Grom's problem. This is my 32K expansion module problem. Um, I saw something in tools, I thought. Let me see if it's still there. Let's Okay, I need to check something. So, yeah, when I turn the power off, the LED on the 32K comes on. I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to plug, turn this on. Okay, the, the light does go off. Let me see what that is. Let me try something again here. I don't remember what it was. Mem is equal. I think it was equals to mem plus eight, if I remember. And it was two go sub one. And then we run that and we wait for it to bomb out. And then we print mem, if I remember. 
There it is. Print. Oops. Ah, this keyboard is something else, let me tell you. Yeah, this whole no delete key can drive you nuts. Print mem. Okay, got the same thing, so that's not looking good for me. Um, I'm going to check something here. Hang on a second. All right, well, I'm really I was just checking my power supply to make sure that uh, I got the right one. And I did, as I suspected, but because now there aren't any lights coming on. I wonder if I have somehow damaged my 32K. If I have, that's going to make this not. It's going to be kind of hard for me to finish my video if I don't get this working because I want to show off some of those other larger pieces of software so a lot of these homebrew games and some of these other things aren't working and again it was working just a little while ago and then has just stopped so I'm not sure what's going on maybe it was Jet Set Willie that was working so, yeah it was Jet Set Willie that was working okay so that was working earlier that one may not require 32 I'm gonna turn that down a little bit for you that one may not require 32 kilobytes of RAM so let's go ahead and reset do this let's try another homebrew game that might require 32 and see what's going on um road hunter that sounds good loading hmm. probably i you know it's hard to tell whether these oh there we go I don't know if you're still out there, but does this compete with your uh, Gran Turismo game? Was it Gran Turismo you were playing? What was that the other day you were playing during your uh, your game? Get out of my way. I have to say, though, this is, this is a lot of fun. This still is a lot of fun. So, again, I don't know if this requires 32K, but... Uh, oh, that wasn't good. It still is a lot of fun. Should the memory uh, enable, let's see, uh, David says, should the memory enable bit be enabled? How do I do that? Um, I just assumed I plugged the thing in and it worked. Is there something I need to be doing? Uh, is this for Enzo Horizon? Yes, it is, Mark. It is not that, no, not at all. But it is surprisingly a lot of fun. Oh, gosh, I knew better than that. And uh, again, I'm using this great Hyperkin 8-bit recreation of the Atari joystick. Um, as you can see, I'm not doing well. Um, Jamie said, yep, uh, got sport. This looks just as good. Yeah, how about that rendering? Woo, look at that. How about that sound? I don't hear one car sound at all. All I hear is music. Oh, now we're rocking and rolling. Was I supposed to hit that? Uh-oh. Oh! That's garbage. Probably not what you all came for. Actually, you all probably came in the room not knowing what you were going to get, other than some guy who cannot play this game very well. Yeah, game over, out of fuel. So there you go. Okay, let's try another one. So I'm gonna hit reset, reset my final Grom. Uh, hit two, let's try, let's try another homebrew game and see what we have here. Let's do, uh, I've seen Snake Plissken, it's not that great. There's the Super Mario, but let's see if that's gonna load. F18A required. Now that is, if I remember, that is a, a board you have to install into the uh, TI, so that's not gonna work. Um, that's not a feature, It. I just don't have that board. I think that's a video board, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, this is like Spy... Yeah, it was like a Spy Hunter knockoff. You're right. Hey, Cubicle Nate, how are you doing? Uh, welcome. We're just kind of messing around with the uh, Final Grom 99 on the TI-99 4A. I'm um, having some issues trying to figure out why some ROM Grom files work and some don't. So I'm working through that right now. Uh, oh, I need to reset. As you can see, uh, it, re it... See the Super Mario Brothers? It Unless you reset this... It will always use the last cartridge you use as the default, which could be kind of handy if if you uh, just want this to act like a uh, extended basic cartridge for 
you know, a long time, long periods of time. So let me go ahead and reset. Cubicle Nate says the Commodore 64 looks and sounds funny. <laughs> It, you're right. It doesn't quite look like it, does it? You, you, you're probably that's probably a comment uh, related to the monitor uh, that I'm using, which I, I recreated the monitor uh, using a drawing package, but then added my own branding to it. But it is obviously influenced by the Commodore monitor. You are correct, sir. So uh, appreciate you capturing that. Let's go ahead and see if I can get something here. Um, I'm, I'm still looking for. I still want one of these to work and I don't know why maybe we should just maybe maybe we, we go with I'm, I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try extended basic plus again I've been I've been trying these over and over and they're not working so let me well but I'm pretty sure it was H I'm gonna try H again yeah see that's the same thing I got last time Oh, well, you know, uh, when all else fails, play more games. That's what I always say. But I do have a, a lot of software on here, which is nice. Um, what are these education games? Let's see if we think there's anything in there that might be something. There's Frog Jump, Grammar, Giving. Let's go to the next page. Moving through the pages is the plus and comma, which is nice. That'll all be in the video and com uh, companion blog post. Um, number bowling. Let's try number bowling. That sounds like fun. Bowling is always fun, right? Um, James Hackshack, will the RAM expansion light stay on with, with the car out? I tried that. Um, yeah, I'm not getting any light. That's what's really bothersome here. I don't know if I can show you what I'm seeing. I'm going to mess this up, I know, but you can see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me get this over here. Oh, there we go. Wow, I would have thought I would have hit. There we go. So those are the lights I'm talking about right there. Uh, and neither one of them are on. Uh, oh, rats, I don't see it. Uh, Mark, the board allows you to set allows you to set it to use either internal power or external power on that external RAM pack. Will it run without the power being plugged in? Weird. It only comes on when you... Yes, it is, Mark. So, Mark, you're familiar with this. I didn't think about trying it with... I thought you had to plug it in. So let me uh, let me set this back up here, and uh, let's see what we have. I think I just zoomed in. Let me zoom back out. There we go. Now I've messed up everything. Okay, so Mark recommends that I try it without the power. I, uh, I, I I'm 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 going to do that. So let me go ahead and set this back up so you guys can see what's going on here. There we go. All right, so we're going to. Um, there we go. Uh, oh, we haven't bowled. Let's let's do one. Let's do one round of bowling. How many players are there? Well, there's one. I gotta tell you, I love the sound of this keyboard. It's a weird keyboard, but it is something else. Uh, do you want instructions? Nah, I don't need instructions. I do need instructions. Uh, there you go. Retro combs. Which is greater? Well, there you go. What I what do I type? Do I type in fourteen point? Nope, it's not that. Uh, what do you want me to type? Which is greater? Oh, is this, you think it's wanting the symbol maybe? Uh, let's try that. Uh, da, da, let me go. Yeah, here's that weird thing again where I got to go function back, back. Uh, oh, that's not it either. Try again. What in the world is it looking for? Because it would not let me put in a period. That's interesting. Um, which is greater? I should have done instructions. Okay, well, good. I don't know what I'm doing, so we can go in and try and get this 32K RAM expansion working. So I'm going to go ahead and power off. I'm going to unplug, and Mark thinks that the board allows you to set it to use either internal power or external power. I did not see that setting anywhere on there, but I would love if it would just use internal. That would be nice. And maybe, uh, I do know that I have a tippy that I have not, or tie pie, and whoever, you know, whoever you're talking to, T-I-P-I, -I, I think is the way you were supposed to say, uh, that um, hooks into this. I think that's probably going to require its own power. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. So turning it on without power to the 32K. Okay, so that's what I'm getting on screen, which means um, I probably need power on the 
uh, 32K because it's not even letting it boot up. I'm going to try something now. I'm going to unplug this because this is probably taking some power. Let's see what happens here. I wondered if this was not compatible with this mark. I kind of wondered about that. So see, that's not working. So if I plug in, uh, that should tell me something, right? If I plug it in and it's working, that should tell me my 32K is working, right? I think that's logical to assume. Wouldn't you all think that if I have this unplugged and this is what happens, nothing, but when I plug it in and turn it on, but again, I don't have a light on. So I could go, I guess I could go to the uh, Brewing Academy and see what's going on. Let's see, let me go to the Brewing, there we go, Brewing Academy. Let's see if they have any uh, information that might be helpful over here. So I am over here on the Brewing Academy website. Uh, let's go to TI-994. I am liking the live stream setup. Uh, I think I've got something going here. I've actually um, been messing around with the live stream trying to get things working. So I need the TI-994. Oh, there we are. And I have the, let's see, sidecar. Now I bought this as part of a, 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 a um, package with the TIPI and this one so let's see functionality equivalent to the did, did, did. plugs into the side port of the ti with the edge connector it runs off of plus five volts there we go uh, there is one configuration jumper to either take power from the positive volt or the ti side bore oh it will work with your speech synthesis so you are right mark there is a jumper huh i kind of i'm interested in that jumper now i want that jumper so Here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and so here it is. So now what I've got to do is locate that jumper. Um, there's some screws here. Let me see if we have the cases assembled and tested. This three is fully functional and is easily opened. It's the one thing about the Brewing Academy, I wish they had better instructions. I will say that. I appreciate the services and, and things they provide, but I do wish that they had um, better instructions online like this it runs off there is one configuration jumper uh, it would be nice to know how to get to that if that were here and I don't see that anywhere so I guess what I could do is go ahead and grab a screwdriver uh, it looks like it's a Phillips so hang on I will be right back this is not what I planned for this live stream that is for sure so you all are getting more than you're uh, you paid for which you didn't pay for anything but hey who knows uh, I'm not sure how you are loading those programs on but I do so a program on github for the ti30 to test oh mark that can be uh, helpful um, if you want to pop that uh, th it's pretty easy to load all you do is you drop them onto the SD card, and I could uh, I can easily pop something over on the SD card. All I have to do is uh, click it out of here, plug it in, drop that uh, uh, um, software on, and it should work. So if you want to drop that link in there, I can take a look at that. While you're doing that, I can be looking at this, and we can see if we can uh, figure out where that jumper is, because I really would prefer to just use power from this than have to have this additional power because it does make it very inconvenient. So uh, let me go ahead and see, looks like, I'm gonna try this. There's two screws on here. There is, um, I said that, there's one here and I thought there was one somewhere else. Maybe I'm mistaken. I think I'm mistaken. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, here we go. Let me just go ahead and unscrew this. See if we can find that jumper. Jetty Matt 42 Ti. Oh, okay. I can uh, I can uh, look for that. I can do a quick search for that. Let's uh, hope I don't lose this little, tiny little screw here. Hold on a second. Put that in there. So there we go. That comes right off. That's that's pretty nice. I'm going to be very careful here. 
because I do not want to break this. Still feels like it's being held by something there, so I'm going to be very careful here. There we go. All right. So we'll put that over here. And now this should just slide out right here. That's pretty nice right there. Now that's interesting. Why does he have... I think that's where the um, Pi Zero could go if you're going to connect the Pi Zero in there. All right, let's see if we can find... Here we go. Here's our tippy expansion. Oh, okay. So it's not the, the, the Raspberry Pi itself. This is the tippy uh, connector right here. Um, so, or the TIPI. I, I keep saying tippy. Shame we don't have eight extra address pins for what? What do I need those extra address pins? I'm not sure. Okay, let me take a look at this and see if I can figure out where the power is. Oh, I see one right there. There's a there's a jumper right there. Now it looks like though that I'm going to need to slowly pull these apart. Get this. This could be this could be disastrous or it could be fine. Let me see. Can I get to that without pulling this? I can actually, but then I don't know which way it goes. Oh wait, maybe I can read that here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. TI. Oh, there we go. I see it. Okay. Yeah, there is. There's the jumper in there. It says external power or TI power. So Mark, you nailed it. Um, there is an option for that. I'm going to, I'm going with this. <laughs> it would be fun. Thanks, Cubicle. You're just hoping for the disaster, right? Uh, now, the thing is, I don't know if I have enough room, though, to, oh boy, here we go. Let me see. Here we go. Aha, I got them apart and it was not a disaster. So we're, we're in good shape so far. So here's that jumper. I'm going to zoom in here for you. I can do that. I have the power to do that. How about that? Um, and that's because of this, this great little camera. I got this document camera. So you can see it right there. So right now we're on external power. So I am going to try, I am going to try the TI power. Let's see what happens. It could be, you know, a good point. It could be a, you know, power supply. Uh, now, what I can do without putting it all in the case is I can go ahead and plug this in. I do not need the TIPI right now. This is not required for the 32K. So I'm just going to set that aside. And what I'm going to do now is set all of this stuff right here. Let me zoom out for you again. I'm going to move all this stuff to the side. And we're just going to plug in the memory expansion without the case. I've actually seen a lot of people online using it without the case, so that's okay. So let me go ahead and plug this in. It is, I'll tell you, it is a tight fit. So I'm sure it's not a bad connector. Okay, so we'll go back here. Hey, there's eight of you. <laughs> we, we grew while I was going through there. All right, and uh, you all are uh, hurting for things to do on a Sunday night uh, before Thanksgiving in the U.S. Um, what is it? It's almost seven o'clock and we're all hanging out online watching me break things. How much fun is that? All right, here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. All right. Hey, it works and it's not plugged in. So that's good news because you remember before when I was plugged in uh, or I wasn't plugged in, but it was plugged in that it didn't work. Now, the other thing I have to wonder, though, is if I have the TIPI or um, this this may require that extra power, but at least we can check and troubleshoot a little bit and see what's going on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to plug in the final Grom 99 again. And uh, don't worry, Mark, I'm still thinking I'm going to do a, a, that memory software. Might download that. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Fingers crossed. Everything's good there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset my final Grom. We're going to go into here. We're going to go to flash Grom. We are going to check on. Okay, let's let's try that one of those uh, development things again. A to dev. Okay, we're going to try it. Here we go. We're going to try the one that I thought was working, which was H. There it is. Okay. Hey, look, we, we, we fixed something. There was no kaboom. That's right. So that's something. So 
we have uh, at least got it back. So it's something to do with the card. Now it could be that I'm using that uh, internal power, but again, I think I'm gonna need that external power to also drive this board on top of that. If that's the case, I got some issues I'm gonna have to try and figure out. Although I still wanna try this. And again, this is the, the TIPI that I'll be playing with uh, over the holiday, as a matter of fact. Uh, that is, unless the Mega 65 does drop right around Christmas and I'll be so absorbed with that, there won't be, there'll be little time for the TI, uh, but may come back to it. But that's why I'm trying to squeeze some of this TI stuff in now between Thanksgiving and Christmas, because I'm waiting for the Mega 65 and that's gonna, that's gonna keep me busy over the holiday break. I've got some plans for that so okay well now that we know that that's working uh, somebody said there was a command for memory in extended basic i don't remember what that was now Let me go over here so um how do i check the size of the memory somebody had recommended something earlier uh this is a, a, a size so that's the command in, ex, in ti basic uh extended so if we have that let's come back over here and let's try it shall we size all right, let's see what it says. There we go. All right. Hey, look at that. We got 32. So we know the memory is working. We don't even need to now, Mark, we don't even need to go and uh, drive or, or download that software. We can actually now using extended basic 2.6 see what our memory allocation was. And if you remember before when I ran that basic program with the go sub commands, this is it was returning something roughly the equivalent of this. So we know for sure it wasn't working. And now we know it is uh, working. So boom. All right, let's try and play with some additional software that we couldn't play with before. I want to try one of those 32 uh, requirement games. So remember what I'm going to do now is reset the whole thing, which I do like that reset button. Before you'd have to hit function and quit. So that's kind of nice. And I'll go ahead and reset the flash grom or final grom. I'm going to do that in the video. I know over and over flash grom, final grom. I'm trying to purge flash grom out of there. Uh, so that's uh, not there. Hey, I love the uh, love the emojis, Mark. Thank you for those. Those are fun emojis. Uh, okay, so let's go in here. Let's try something that requires 32. Uh, uh, okay, I have no idea. It was me. I would have just blown it on it and put it back in. Hey, troubleshooting 101, right? You just, you just sometimes you have to start what you think is the the easiest and kind of work your way through it. Uh, Mark also hoping for the Mega 65 stocking filler. Oh, that's nice. If you get a, a stocking stuffer, a Mega 65 is a stocking stuffer uh, mark. And I got two marks. I got Mark Dell and I got Mark. So Mark Dell with the check mark and Mark without the check mark. I'm not sure what the check marks mean. Anybody know what the check mark? Mark, why do you have a nice little Mark Dell? How come you have a nice little check mark? Uh, but poor Mark, he does, he's just got his name Mark. So I'm not sure why that is. Something with YouTube, I'm sure, in the chat room. Uh, so let's, uh, okay, let's get back. We Y'all we're, we're, uh, are distracting me in the chat room. Uh, it means I'm trouble. It does mean you're trouble, but you're helpful trouble. You've been very helpful. So thank you for that. Always enjoy when you drop into the live streams and see what I'm up to. Uh, let's, uh, I think it was here. Was it here? Let's go ahead and hit item B. And so anything we load here should require 32 kilobytes. And so that should be a good test for us. So we're going to do DOS. We're going to do 4A DOS. Here we go. And that's B. Here we go. Keeping those fingers crossed. Uh, da, 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 da. Boom. Look at that. Now, um, press any key to continue. Now, I don't have uh, a drive on here. That, as a matter of fact, that's what the TIPI is, or the TIPI, or the TIPI, or whatever. That's what that's going to do is it's going to simulate ti drives uh, disk drives on the raspberry pi but it's also going to do other things too it's going to give us network access and some other really cool things so good news is that's working so let's try something else shall we now now we should be able to run anything on this uh final grom 99 that we've worked out those issues uh, so i'm gonna try a few more things and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug this board back on and we're going to see if it can power this board as well, just from power. If that works, then I can put everything back into the case, and I know I'm in pretty good shape. If not, uh, then I'm going to need to check and find out why power from here is not, or, or what's causing that power hitch. Uh, Mark says, uh, I saw the Mr. had a TI-99 core, but I never messed with it. 
I never experienced a TI-90. I, I hadn't either before this one. Uh, before Jamie and I headed up north to Chicago, I bought this at the uh, Vintage Computer Festival Midwest. It's the first time I'd ever had a TI. So uh, 2021 was the first time I've ever touched a TI. I'm learning everything all from scratch, which is why this is so much fun for me. It's, uh, it's like being a teenager again and having this as my first computer, but with all these neat modern twists, which really, I, I love that kind of stuff. And I'm not a real big, I know a lot of people love the Mister, and I've said this in my blog post before, and I maybe even in a video. I don't like the Mister uh, or a lot of those emulated um, uh, hardware because I want the original keyboard. I want to feel this keyboard. I want things mapped on the keyboard to be mapped the way that they, they were mapped. Uh, if you start pulling in like uh, a, a PC keyboard, then you got to figure out what does Tab do, what does F1, you know, all that. And I just want to experience it. So I am not a mist. I probably will never purchase a mister. Don't quote me on that. Um, somebody would, in all honesty, somebody would have to send me a mister. I'm not going to spend my hard earned money on a mister. Uh, but uh, I know there's some people who really like it because they can get everything, every retro computing device, uh, game console, everything in one device. But I just, it, for me, it's, it's all about the whole hardware experience. So that's why I've, I've not really been in that. Uh, this is very cool to see. Well, thanks, Mark. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying me uh, just kind of uh, stumbling over this stuff. Uh, Cubicle Nate says, hey, I was at the same Computer Fest, but I was there on Saturday afternoon. We were there on Saturday late morning. And, no, we were there afternoon as well, uh, Cubicle Nate. Jamie and I were. J Jamie with Jamie's uh, Hack Shack, if you look up. Uh, yes, Jamie. And then I looked up Jamie and saw that you said it was the size command. Thank you. Good memory. His memory is much better than mine. Uh, but Cubicle Nate, uh, we were there. We were going to um, attend the YouTuber um, session, but it was just too crowded. So we just went around and had a great time at the table. But then at the very end, that's where I purchased this uh, was from. I can't remember the name of the vendor. Uh, Jamie, I don't know if you remember the name of the vendor. Jamie picked up a Commodore 64 while he was up there, too. Uh, but it, it was the first it's the first vintage computer festival I'd been to. Jamie said, hey, let's let's take a, a day trip up there. And that was a lot of fun. Um, so, again, that's uh, this is why I'm really digging this is because this is like my bait. And this thing is in beautiful shape. If you've not seen my video where I take this out of the box, this thing was like brand new. The box had a little wear, but everything inside manuals and everything just was almost brand new. I only spent seventy dollars on this thing. Uh, which for me was a steal as well. I, I couldn't believe it was only $70. So I loved it. Mark says the mister is bonkers. If you want to get into some wacky Russian computers, you never find, yes, now that's interesting. Or souped up Amiga. Uh, you do miss the keyboard, uh, but it's far better than an emulator. I, yeah, I get that. I definitely would get that. I think, uh, you know, I did own an Amiga back in the day, the 500. I always wanted like a 1200. Well, I think there was a 600, wasn't there a 600 in between the 500 and 1200? I always wanted a 4,000 later on uh, and could never afford those. It's something uh, I'm sticking with 8-bit stuff here because I'm just having so much fun. But eventually I'll probably dive back into the Amiga. I do have um, the A500, I think is what they call it. Yep, the A500. And I do have one of those on pre-order. It's supposed to be around, I think, February, March, something like that. So that'll be my first foray back into the Amiga uh, a little bit. But again, that's an emulation. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, Mark, the beige color TI looks nicer than the silver one. I, you know, that I didn't know. I never knew that they had beige. Never knew that they had beige. Saw it, fell in love with it again, just because of the quality uh, and, and it was in such good care. Uh, but yeah, I've, I kind of like it better than the silver ones. I still wouldn't mind probably getting a silver one just to have both. It's not something I'm just actively looking for, but you know, if I go next year, I might fall into one or something like that. It might be nice just to have them as a comparison, but I am perfectly happy with my TI-99 4A in beige or tan. And again, that's why I got the final Grom. I had the fla uh, Flash ROM printed in black, uh, 3D case, but uh, I got this one in beige. It's not exactly the same, but it, it's pretty good. 600 came out about the time of the 1200. That's what I thought, Mark. That's right. Let's see, uh, I still have the C64 Amiga, but Mister, some nice benefits. Mark, uh, yep, we already talked about that. I got the Amiga one. Uh, I got the Amiga with one of those CF card 8C. Yeah, that would be really cool. The, uh, eight, again, I really love adding these modern components to this old retro stuff to, to make them better than they were because I remember, I remember how long we had to wait for things to load. Now things are just like, I mean, this is a great example, right? This final grom is perfect for that. 
I never saw a TI-99 in the UK. Well, it would make sense. I think it's just uh, for my parents being more of a Commodore and Spectrum family. Yeah, so Spectrum uh, for you uh, uh, folks over the pond. Little known fact, uh, I do have a Spectrum Next 2. I did Kickstarter support that one. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that too. That is, again, another computer I didn't own uh, in the day. So I'm looking forward to playing with that too. So got to get all I can out of this before that gets here too, which looks like that's not going to come until next year. So, you know, the Mega 65 comes in around December. I got the A500 around March, April, and probably summer is when the Spectrum Next 2. So I've got a whole series of stuff I'm just going to be having a blast with. I'm trying to find that balance of what I want to do video, what I want to do some live streams. You know, live stream is just like, you know, hanging out with you all right now, which is great. Uh, and I just get to talk computers with somebody because my wife upstairs, she doesn't want to talk about this stuff. And I think I think a lot of you are probably like that, right? Uh, so it's really great to read. And uh, I really do appreciate you all just kind of popping in and joining. Thanks for joining. This is, this, is, this is so much more fun. I'm learning so much more. I'll get back to it here in just a minute. Let me just check a few more chats here. Um, we're old. We can't wait for the... Yeah, I know, right? We don't have time for that stuff to load. We don't... We, our, 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 our load times are getting longer and longer, right? Uh, I need to do some stuff with the Atari 400. Oh, the Atari. I never had an Atari other than, of course, the 2600. Uh, but that's been one that's kind of been, I've had an interest in. Um, the 400 and the 800 seem like something I wouldn't mind getting into. Uh, Mark, I remember seeing them at WH Smith here in the UK, which obviously, uh, from what I'm learning, was a hugely popular place for you all uh, to hang out in, uh, in England uh, for your computers. Um, computers that fell by the way as the Spectrum Commodore pretty much ruled the roost. Yeah. Uh, uh, were you an Acorn guy? Just kind of curious. Where uh, was Acorn? I did get to meet the YouTubers there, 8 bit guy. Uh, and LGR, super nice guys. You know, um, the, my my brush with YouTube greatness, right? 8-Bit Guy, Jamie and I were sitting there uh, earlier on, uh, they, they rescheduled the, the YouTuber um, session. We weren't aware we were sitting there, but anyway, the 8-Bit Guy came in uh, and he, he was staring at me and I was like, why is he staring at me? Uh, but then he said, oh, I like your shirt. And I had a Vic 20 shirt on. And I, so that was, that's it. That's all we spoke. That was it. Um, but we did, oh, another fun fact. Uh, Jamie and I did see him. We went to Portillo's for lunch and the 8-bit guy was there. So he was sitting at a table with his entourage. I think it was his, I think it was his brother, I think went with him, if I'm not mistaken, who also has a channel. So that was fun. Um, I'm using a beige unit. Most important uh, is that you get units that don't have the Mitsumi keyboard. Yeah, absolutely. Those, those, I've heard that, uh, about the uh, the, the uh, membrane keyboards. Uh, Atari ST on the Mr. 2. You know, the Atari ST was another one of those that, uh, um, you know, competed with the Amiga, obviously, and I was kind of torn between the Amiga, but I had my Commodore loyalty, so I think that was good. All right, so things to slow down a little bit in chat. Let me come back here and try a couple other things. Let's try some of those homebrew games because I think we really want to uh, give uh, those a shot here. Let me go ahead and reset here. All right, let's let's uh, let's try a homebrew game that we couldn't get to load because those should take advantage of the... Um, let's see. Well, the Super Mario Brothers wasn't working earlier. Let's see if that's going to work now. Oh, that's right. We couldn't do that one because it requires the F-18A, so let me reset that. Sorry, guys. I should have remembered that. I knew that. Why did I do that again? Why did you all let me do that? Because there's a eight-second delay between what I say and what you see. It's not quite that long. But it still is it is quite lengthy because I, I can see my yeah so right there that's about five seconds there's about a five second delay uh run the demo what de oh the demo okay so david wants me to run the demo thank you i appreciate that somebody somebody is finally saying there's d for demo yeah, that makes sense then here we go demo time hey this is good too because i don't have to do anything hey by the way what do you guys think about this setup is does, does this work is this okay uh leave me some feedback there Oh, check this out. Uh, I'm with Steven about the mister as it's such a faff without the proper... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I saw the F-18 is also on the MSX. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I you know, I, I think uh, don't mess with Texas. I, I'm digging that. That's really cool. Is that too loud? Let me, let me, I can turn that down a little bit for you. There we go. 
If somebody wants to send me an F-18, yeah, that'd be fine. Um, I, I tried searching for one the other day and it looks like it was out of stock where I was looking. I don't know. It could be the whole thing was shipping and logistics. This demo is pretty cool though, isn't it? I love your video scene you have going. Oh, good, good. Thanks, Mark. I uh, I, I kind of dig it myself. Um, I wasn't sure, you know, it takes a lot of the, the screen from the computer away to have the, you know, the kind of the Commodore or monitor look to it that I, I put together. And so I wasn't sure if that was too small, but I do like having the keyboard because I think it's often, I often wonder when I'm watching people live stream, what are they hitting on the keys? At least this way you can see it and then, you know, you can go back. So here's the other question, guys. I've been live streaming now for how long have we been going? Probably about 45 minutes. Uh, do I just leave these up or do I delete them? I'm, I'm always, because they're not polished or anything, should I just leave them up there in case other people just want to see them or should I just let the live folks join in? Um, let's see, uh, they are very scarce. Newer F-18 MK2, maybe next year if Builder can get the parts. Oh, good, thanks David, appreciate that. Maybe that's what I'll be on the lookout. I assume that that's an internal install that uh, I would need to do. Um, I don't remember if it requires soldering. Cubicle Nate likes to set up too. Good, thanks. Appreciate that. I kind of, I, I kind of dig the circle thing. I will say because you see a lot of just squares or rectangles. And I'm like, this would be fun. Do something with a little circle. Um, Ti 994A had a TMS uh, 99. Yep, yep, yep. Then you would uh, native floating point, which would make plotting the Mandelbrot set among. Oh yeah, absolutely. Good point. Mark Bell says, ha. Some people find out that live streams do terrible post stream. Even bigger tubers don't find much traffic for the old vids. Yeah, I know. So I, I may just may just kill this. I have uh, done them and then made a few edits. There might be some things I can pull out of here, or I might reference parts of this in the video that I'm going to do on the final Grom that should be coming out hopefully in a couple of days, three, four days. I'm tomorrow, planning on trying to get that finished up with the recording and then hopefully editing. Now that I know everything's working, I can go through and record everything. So, so I think what I'm gonna do is make sure that I just have a 32K working. I'm not gonna worry about this guy. Since everything's working, now I can get everything I need for recording for the 948. Um, let's see, Mark says, they even believe the YouTube gods might penalize you in some ways for having these videos that aren't popular. Yeah, I think you do. I've had a, oh look, is this Doom? Oh, check it out, Doom on the TI-99, that's, uh, I'd like to find that, I'd have to check that out. Um, yeah, the, the whole YouTube algorithm just befuddles me. You know, I'm not in this to make money, uh, it's just for fun for me, and again, the chance to meet folks like you who are interested in the same kinds of computers I am, and, and learning about the computers, because I learn more from you all than I do looking online half the time. Um, but it is weird. Um, I know, uh, just just kind of giving you guys an idea, I had uh, a really strong month a month ago. Oh, it paused. It stalled. That's interesting. Now, I don't know. I don't know if that's the end or if it just stalled. So let me go ahead and reset this. Anyway, what I was saying is I had a really strong month last month and it just dropped like that this month. I mean, it's it's halved everything, uh, which is interesting. I would like to, uh, you know, make enough money and revenue uh, from the streams, from the thanks and all those other things you can do uh, from buy me a coffee, all of those so that I can just continue to buy some things because then I can buy these things and the budget person, my wife upstairs, doesn't really care that it's coming out of the budget, right? So that's kind of nice. So uh, that one locked up. Let's go ahead and go back into uh, homebrew again. That was fun, that demo was fun. I'm not sure why it locked up. Could be a lot of reasons. Uh, let's try, uh, I, titanium just sounds cool. Let me see if there's another page on here though. Nope, let's try titanium. Oh, this looks good. All right, grabbing out the Hyperkin. Ooh, I like the way that faded up. Did you notice that? The, the music kind of faded up, that, that was nice. All right, let me get this thing here, make sure I don't. Uh, gotta keep the boss happy, you do. You have to keep the boss happy. Happy boss, happy, well, we know. Ha happy wife, happy life, right? Um, I'm seeing more and more live stream, we talked about that. 
Uh, would a out of memory have caused a lockup? Yeah, I think probably so, David. Maybe it's, it's, but I don't know. I mean, this is maxed out, so I don't know what they were planning on. 33 kilobytes? No. 64? No, because you can't have that. So, all right, let's see what titanium looks like. I ooh, press start. There we go. That's probably a little loud, isn't it? Let me see if I can pull that back. Oh, oh, this looks good. Oh, this is, this is similar to, oh, what's that game on the Commodore? Oh, it's not as good. Is it called Titanium on the... Oh, that was horrible. Uh, I don't think this is called... All right, can I go up? I, oh, oh man, they're coming up behind me and shooting me. Did you see that? Oh, you can go either way. Ah, I see. Okay, so I got to go under controls. Let me see what we're talking about over here. Uh, Rasmus games are currently the best. Is something overheating that could cause them to lock up? Uh, Iridium, that's it, Mark. Yes, it's a it's a uh, port of Iridium. It's not quite as good, though. I've noticed the uh, graphics are not quite as good. It's a good facsimile, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I definitely don't know what I'm doing here. No, no, no. I'm going to get better. Hang on, hang on. I just, need a, I just need a good Galaga clone. That's what I need. Oh, my goodness. What's with the bumping? That's... This whole uh, screen bumping thing is kind of interesting. And it's a little weird. It's not very, I mean, it's it's stuck. It's not moving, it's not scrolling. Are y'all noticing that? Power is marginal from console for 32K, so need dedicated, see, that's what I wonder. Uh, yeah, this has definite issues. Um, could be, could be power, but let me try one more. So if you guys see something you want to see, oh, let's let's definitely go to the 32K folder so that we can uh, see what's in there. Ah, Angler Dangler. That sounds like a fishing game. Let's try something. E.T. on land. Ooh, that's not like the E.T. that killed the 2600, is it? Which is not true, actually. Uh, just coincided. Uh, let's see. Is the VDP getting hot? Is it? No. Nothing feels warm at all. Everything seems... No, the the uh, the 32 memory, nothing feels hot. Everything feels fine. Not feeling any heat coming out of here. Um, let's see what else we have on page two. Uh, two ton common. That sounds kind of fun. Let's see what that and that requires 32. So we'll see how this works. Oh, do they have that Doom game? You're right. I should I should be looking for Doom. Excellent idea. Let me go back. I'll try that. Uh, it looked like it was shooting, but... Ah, oh, you gotta point in the direction where shoot. There we go. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why this, this... Does this really look like it... Oh, I can't go up. Ah! Joystick. Seems, uh... I wonder if I've got a little lag because of the USB capture device. Uh, what are you guys doing? This... I'm horrible. I am just horrible. Uh, I would do better at Doom, that is for sure. Ah! I need, I need that key. Come on now. Oh! So close. I thought I could outrun them instead of shooting them. Uh, because the, the shooting controls are horrid. Uh, and it's very hard. This is very hard to control. Do not available. Just a demo. There is a similar program available, but requires Sam's card. What? Okay. What? Uh, Cubicle Nate. I would like to I'd like you to see if there is a version of Oregon Trail. I happen to like the Apple II version uh, best as of now. Even though. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. This is this is going nowhere. Let's see what we have. Let me reset here. Press any key. Let's go in here. Uh, so that, that's interesting. Would Oregon Trail be under education, something similar, or would it be under games? Uh, you know, I want to think there was something called Chisholm Trail. Did I see that? Is that a game? Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's Chisholm Trail. Do we think that that's a clone of Oregon Trail? It's taking a long time to load. Oh, look at this. 
Chisholm Trail. It's got the uh, uh, Texas on it. Uh, the C64 version of Air Oregon Trail is not so great. Is a game. All right, so. Okay, select a uh, level of difficulty. Well, one, because I'm horrible. Oh, this is not, this is not Oregon Trail. This is, this is, what is this? You know what, I think, I think I've got some issues with my joystick. Did I plug this thing in? Oh, right there, sorry. Uh, yeah, part of this could be uh, joystick issues. Let me, let me see if I am. Uh, Oh, there we go. All right, wrong joystick port. Now nah, we're ready. Now nah, we're ready. I wonder if I would, if that was part of the problem on that last one. Well, now it's not firing at all. And now it's not moving at all. And I'm not able to reset. So, oh, there we go. I was able to reset. All right. So the last thing we'll try is um, I'm still looking. I didn't see anything that looked like Oregon Trail. Let's go ahead and just check. I want to make sure. We'll go down to the O's. Uh, the only thing, element, the only thing we have in O's is Othello on this. Um, so I don't think that's going to be it. Um, we have Robotron. Now that was a fun game. Simon says. Uh, Star Runner, Star Trek, uh, The Invaders. Um, try a power cycle. Yeah, I probably do. You're probably right because it is all we've been doing is resetting. You're right. Let me try one more. Let me try Donkey Kong one last time here. And yeah, see that one just locked up again, or it's on the wrong joystick port. Really need to. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, Press two for two player game, press enter to start. Yeah, everything's working on this game fine now. Uh, it was a shot in the dark. Try that power, yeah, there we are. I know. <laughs> I'm reading the chat, Try. you cannot read chat and play Donkey Kong at the same time. Actually, you probably, uh, the way I play this game, I love this game, but I gotta tell you, I'm just I think my reflexes uh, gotten older just I mean what is that how, how how close do you have to be to the bear I guess if I were running I would get more travel out of it so let's go yeah I gotta get I gotta get a good running start right yeah. oh there we go all right well, well you know a little bit further if I remember I can do one of these guys right here right not a horrible version of this game missing some of the going to go up the ladder and I didn't and oh, this this isn't the worst version I could imagine no it's not I've seen really bad what was it the, um, the Atari 2600 was disgusting oh my gosh you remember that one that one was horrible all right we'll do one more um, since you guys are hanging out in the room uh, so if there's any uh, we'll do two more I'll pick one because I know there's a lag if there's something you see that you want to play I'll do that one and then I'm gonna leave uh, because I need to get some dinner and I think I have everything now that I need everything's working so that I can finish my video up on the final Grom tomorrow uh, most Atari soft games were good the exception is pole position oh jump man jump man. okay I got exclamation on jump man so Mark Dell wants to see me crash and burn with jump man all right we're going jump man um hmm I mean for you to jump man oh <laughs> That's your ask. All right, now I feel really stupid, Mark. Thank you for that. Mark was saying, jump, man, jump. He wasn't saying play a game called Jump Man. He was asking me to jump. Yeah, I know it's too late. I'm sorry. That was that was too funny, Mark. Thank you for that. That was great. We're gonna find one of those, and I, I don't know why, but Angler Dangler just kind of speaks to me. Chat lag is the real, it is, I know. But I mean, I've already left the game talking to myself for 30 minutes, and then I see uh, Jump Man. Uh, when you were telling me to jump, so uh, and and I have the uh, um, YouTube stream set to minimal lag or minimal uh, whatever the word is. I can't even remember. I can't even think today. Um, all right, I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing ET. ET on land. I'm glad everything's working though. This is great. Developed by Looking Glass. All right. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is ET. 
Minor 20, okay, okay, Mark, there you go. Minor 2049er, uh, does sound familiar. That'll be my last one. I'll be ending on that. So if there is one that you would like to see in the video that I didn't play and you'd like me, just put that in the chat and I'll try and capture that. Um, this is so cool that it is working. I know it is cool that it's working and it's actually working well. ET with a speaking spell. You're right, that's what this is. Uh, you, know, you, don't like, you don't like the look of ET, why? Look at this. Look, his hands look like mine. He's got, ET's got like old man hands. Okay, we can't land here. There are three landing places. Make them safe by getting the animals to their food and homes. Press enter to go. This is not going to go well. This is not going to go well at all. Okay, uh, pick a landing place. Do I want to land in the forest, jungle, or desert? It seems like the forest would be harder in the jungle than the desert but i don't like desert settings so i'm going jungle i'm going all jungle here we go we're going we're going to land in the jungle this is this is kind of cool i'm digging oh look at this this is good this is not bad guys there's no sound though i don't understand that there's no sound on this uh okay press one to take the animals home two to feed the animals or three to clear the jungle i'm going to take I, I think i should clear the jungle shouldn't i we're going to clear the jungle uh we'll do level one and uh oh no idea what i'm doing elephant uh i i i would think forest it would be less difficult than jungle uh, yeah probably so but do we even know what we're supposed to do because nothing's working of course it could be that joystick thing again let me i'm gonna i'm gonna change joystick ports hang on oh sorry about that guys I just, all right, I'm in joystick. Yeah, that's not working either. Yeah, let's see if there's a, da, da, da. and there's no, I am stuck. The graphics look fun. Yeah, they do cubicle, Nate. Uh, but you know what, Nate? It's not working. Nothing's working. It had such promise, didn't it? There was such promise. All right, we are going to go back to last game and then we're calling tonight guys uh minor 49er is what i heard good try <laughs> control delete yeah nice uh here's control oh, here's control uh there's no alt and there's no delete which this keyboard is so weird it wouldn't surprise me if they were on there somewhere though i mean it's just you got to hit this function to get a race and clear and begin and proceed and aid and yeah you got this function and aid thing that you can hit uh, which I'll, there, there is a use for that, um, which I'll probably talk about. The other great thing about this is, uh, you know, there's no way I would have ever been able to try all these games as a teenager back in the day. I just, I wouldn't have been able to afford all these games. Uh, so it's really neat to be able to experience, uh, these computers just to their fullness, to the, the completeness that you can. Minor 2049er is how I pronounced it. Yeah, that makes sense. Axel F, <laughs> right? Uh, okay, let's go into 32. Let's see if it's in there. There it is. It's M, minor 2049er. Or, as Nate calls it, minor 2049er. Uh, it's kind of rolls on the tongue. It does kind of roll on the tongue. Minor 249er, 2049er. Yeah, that's a hard one. I remember, it seems like there was a game called Minor 49er, wasn't there? Or was this a set? All right, here we go. We're going in. We are going in. This is a 32 kilobyte game, so it requires the RAM expansion. Oh, yes, I remember this. Yeah, this was available, I think, on a lot of different computers, right? This wasn't, this wasn't an exclusive to TI, right? All right. Ooh, gosh, that's hard to read. Okay, here we go. I don't know what I'm doing, everybody. Uh, I tried to, I know, jump, man, jump. Got it. All right. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, so there's jump. I, I, I don't understand. Mark, uh, request an extension so we can send us off with, oh, that's very nice of you, Mark. Thank you so much for, for you did, you, I'm dying here because you're, you're over there being kind to me. So thank you for, for that, uh, request an extension so we can send us off with 
and axle F. Oh, you want uh, you want to play axle F? Is that is that what you saw on here that you want me to give it a shot? Go ahead and uh, let me know. Uh, but I, for that, I will stay on for a few more minutes and, and do that game for you. So let me go ahead and get this started for us so we can watch me learn. So is Axel F a game? Is that what I'm seeing? All right, so... <laughs> oh, we may be moving into that game a lot faster than, uh, than than we want, Mark. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're, now, hey, now we're, now we're cooking with gas. Um... So go up here. Uh, let's see. What, what am I trying to do here? What, what's what's what's? Oh, I think I'm. Yeah, I'm trying to make all of these right. I did see Axel F in one of those folders. Okay, I'm gonna I, mark for you. I am going to do that. You were kind enough to to drop me a little thank you for my time today, and I am going to. Uh, make sure, and we are going to pull up Axel F and see what that is. I sure hope you find it worth the money you just spent, sir. So, am I do? Am I doing this right? Cause I don't. Oh yeah, there we go. I remember that. Oh, that now see, I don't want that. I am pleased with my uh, sound though, getting that worked out because that was uh, that was a little bit of a concern for me. I had a lot of static and a lot of other, and so. Well, now how am I going to get those? Uh, let's see. I remember the name of this game, but I don't remember the gameplay at all. Okay, so that's why you want me to try out Axel F1. Okay, so I'm done with this. So, Mark, this one is for you. We're going to go in. We're going to find out what Axel F is. So I'm going to reset. I hope I do this justice for you, sir. Should know if it was a standard game or... There it is, Axel F. K. here we go. Are you ready? It's, it doesn't require 32. So, uh, <laughs> it probably is going to be a wonderful nightmare. Yeah, Especially the way I'm going to play it, I'm sure. All right, here we go. Axel F. This is Axel F for Mark Dell for his kind contribution to today's live stream. Here you go. Just for you. See, if you want to see a game, you got something special. Oh, my goodness. From Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> That was too cool. I, th you know, Mark, thank you so much because that made my that made my day too. I, all right, guys, I am going to uh, bounce out of here. I want to thank you all for just kind of popping in. Thanks for helping me work through this. Uh, be on the lookout for the uh, the full video on the final Grom. I'm gonna have to mention some of this in there. I don't know how I'm gonna get it in there, but you may even hear a little bit of this in there. I just may have to sneak that in there. So it's been good to see you. Uh, have a great Sunday. If uh, I don't live stream before, and I don't think I will. Um, have a great Thanksgiving for those of you in the United States. For those of you not in the United States, don't spend too much on Black Friday, okay? I know I'm going to. So it's good seeing everybody. Thanks again. And uh, I get to go out on this wonderful music. This is great. See you guys. Oh, it crashed. Look at that. It crashed. I just, <laughs> I just noticed it cro crashed. Oh, did you? Mark, you did not have to send another one. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was very nice of you. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, I know my video is still going. I wanted you to see this this crash screen, so I, I I don't know why. I just thought it'd be cool. Okay, I'm out now. So again, thanks. But I thought you would want to see that screen. It just kind of bombed out on us. So, see you guys.